Hi, my name is Brittany Zuber and I was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer on July 22nd of this year. Um, if I can give a few pieces of advice to people who are newly diagnosed and it's not that I have, you know, been cancer free for five years or anything, but I have learned so far that the most important thing would be to be your own advocate. Don't let um, the doctors tell you what you can and cannot do because you have every right to make your own medical decisions. I would suggest that you get a second opinion if you have any doubts about something that the doctor will or will not do or if you feel in your gut that you know it's not the right thing definitely go and see another doctor. Um, it's not uncommon. I actually saw my first surgeon and scheduled surgery and then I decided that I thought you know something wasn't right. He wasn't you know giving me all the information that I needed so I went for a second opinion and that doctor told me that because of you know our my age it would be best to do chemo before surgery so I feel a lot more comfortable with that and that's what I'm doing I'm actually starting my first chemo treatment tomorrow um, but if I can you know give you anything it would be that you need to trust what you feel is right and you also need to be knowledgeable about what test they're going to do, um, weigh the pros and cons of each procedure. Um, I would say to also stay off of Google. Do not Google anything. It does nothing but cause more anxiety. Um, you need to be knowledgeable but get it from a credible source. Also, I would say you definitely need a good support system. If you don't have that where you are, you can always find that online or through the Young Survival Coalition. I am lucky enough to have a wonderful support system, but I know that that is very, very important. You need to know that there are people rooting for you and people believe in, in you that, you know, you're going to beat it and everything's going to be fine. Don't look at any statistics, nothing but positive things. You know, it's always good to watch videos of survivors, you know, that have been living for 25 years cancer-free. It's a very uplifting thing for me to do anyway. Um, I know that you need to make sure that you are your own advocate. Um, you need to do your what you believe is the right for you in your individual situation because no two breast cancer situations are the same. You know what's best for me is not best for you and that would be the main thing is you know you do what you feel is best.